Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is March 25, 2021, Solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord. The Gospel said, Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son. Let's have a listen and reflect on it after. But first, The first reading is from the book of Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord, your God. Let it be deep as the nether world, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child, and bear a son. And shall name him Emmanuel. Which means God is with us. Responsorial Psalm Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wished not. But ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocausts or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me. To do your will, O my God, is my delight. And your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O Lord, know. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth. In the vast assembly. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. The second reading is from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocausts and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, as is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, sacrifices and offerings, holocausts and sin offerings. You neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated. Through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Verse before the Gospel. The Word of God became flesh and made His dwelling among us, and we saw His glory. The Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. 
Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Reflection. Today is March 25th. It is exactly nine months before Christmas. On this day, Mary gave her consent, her fiat, her I do, to God's divine proposal. On this day, that great miracle happened, through the powerful overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, the baby Jesus, the Word of God became flesh right inside her womb. The Feast of the Annunciation is also the Feast of the Conception of Jesus. While we pay attention to Mary's acceptance of God's proposal, we also ponder on how God himself agreed to take on human flesh, the Creator taking the form of his creature. Today's feast is a reminder that God does not force his way in our lives. He works in us only with our consent. As one saint said, God created us without our consent but he will not save us without our consent. We always have a choice either to say yes or no to God's plans for our lives. It is not easy to say yes all the time to God. It takes a great deal of willpower to inconvenience ourselves, drop our plans, forego our own pleasures and desires and say yes just like Mary. Our yes is our offering, it is our sacrifice to God. The book of Hebrews says, Sacrifices and offerings you have not desired, burnt offerings and sin offerings you take no pleasure but behold, I have come to do your will. Accepting to God's will instead of ours makes God happy. Like a young man desiring to marry a woman, God came to marry through angel Gabriel to propose to her. You shall conceive in your womb and bear a son and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. How happy God must have been when Mary said, Let it be done. Her yes became the beginning of the fulfillment of God's promises to the people of Israel which the prophets all spoke about. As Isaiah prophesied, When a virgin conceives, then you shall know that your Redeemer has come. Mary is that virgin, Isaiah spoke of, as a sign to the people of Israel that God has finally sent them the Savior they have been expecting. Today's feast is also a clear reminder to us that life in the womb does not begin after the baby is born but at the very minute of conception. Mary's stomach was still very flat but when she went to visit her kinswoman Elizabeth, John the Baptist leaped in Elizabeth's womb in salutation to Jesus whose presence he already felt inside Mary's womb. As we celebrate this feast, let us respect life. Under no circumstance is it ever right to terminate the unborn because the fetus is not just a potential human being but a complete human being with great potentials. Above all, let us always learn from Mary to say yes to God so that his plans for our lives will be manifested. Each time we commit a sin, we are saying no to God and further pulling ourselves away from the life God planned out for us. We are all bundles of potentials, but none of these would be realized if we don't learn to say yes to God. That's the end of the reflection from the Catholic Missal. Subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, so you won't miss out on my next upload. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.